Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to share with you some easy and cheap farmhouse wall decor ideas. I have been wanting to add so much more wall decor here around our farmhouse. I've talked a lot about this. I've been collecting a lot of things. Finally today, we checked several things off the list. I've been collecting frames. And when you collect vintage frames, the trickiest thing is finding prints that are the right size to go in it. I finally have a little bit of a solution on that that I'm going to be sharing with you in one of these ideas. But we were able to hang up all the frames. They're finally not sitting in a pile anymore and they all have something beautiful in them. So let's dive into the ideas. The first idea is grouping together antique collections. I don't have any of these just yet in our home, but I love the idea. I've seen on Pinterest where someone will take vintage mirrors like this one and hang a collection of them all together. So if you have maybe five or six of these, hanging them in an arrangement on the wall. I bought this one for that purpose. I've seen several more since then, but they're never the right price. So I'm just keeping this one and I'm going to tuck it away until I find several that can all go together. It's one of those things that you can keep your eyes peeled for a really long time and then when it all comes together, it'll be beautiful. Another I've seen, this was something I saw on Instagram recently. My friend Deb from Seeking Lavender Lane, she has a beautiful European farmhouse. She grouped in her daughter's bedroom a group of sun hats and it looks so pretty. I would recommend you checking out her Instagram. I've seen people do this with cutting boards, rolling pins. I've also seen it with full size vintage mirrors, so not the small ones, but I've seen where people take an entire gallery wall and take vintage mirrors, kind of like the gold ones that I have in my living room and in my bedroom and grouping them in a gallery wall. That's really pretty as well. Anytime you're into a collection, you can group them together and it doesn't feel so random or thrift shop chic. It actually looks really pretty and curated. The king of collections over on Instagram is Jesse Lawson. I think that's how you say it. He is over on Instagram, but I love following his account because he curates these beautiful vintage collections. It takes an eye to see it, but it turns something that just looks like a random piece into an antique shop. Whenever you group it with several others, it looks really beautiful on a shelf or on a gallery wall. The second idea is art prints. That is what I did mostly today. So I had been collecting all kinds of antique frames from thrift shops, antique shops, anytime I saw one that was pretty that cost around 10 or 20 bucks or cheaper, hopefully, I would snag it up. I always had intentions of either filling them with family photos or art prints or paintings. I thought maybe I'd find some oil paintings that fit in them. Turns out it's really difficult to find just the right size. So I went on a website called Society6 it is a website where makers offer their own art. There's home decor, like pillows that people have designed and curtains. You can find original art. You can also find prints. I went on and found a bunch of prints that were the right sizes for my frame. So a lot of the prints like this one, for example, they'll have it in different sizes. I grabbed several from the Miss Mustard Seed collection because they would just fit my style the most. I searched on Society6 landscape oil paintings, still life oil paintings, and I just kept coming across Miss Mustard Seeds. So that is what this is here. I will leave links down in the description box below to all of these that you saw me hang today. The one I hung in the laundry room, I found that on Society6. I don't believe it was in the Miss Mustard Seed collection, but I will also still leave the link. I've been wanting to hang something just to the left of the washer and dryer. I felt like this room, whenever we redid it back, I think it was last summer, it needed some color somewhere. And I spotted the perfect frame at an antique shop recently, but I felt like it needed something with color. I grabbed this beautiful print of a lilac bush and put it in a gold frame. In the area at the landing of the steps, I hung another Miss Mustard Seed print. This one is a floral print. It is large but it fit perfectly in the vintage frame that I had. In the dining room, I did a Miss Mustard Seed landscape print above our washstand that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I feel like it coordinates really well with the gallery wall of plates on the opposite end, and it adds a little bit of color right there and a little bit of height to that washstand area.
In the living room, I did a Miss Mustard Seed landscape print as well. I had to get a custom mat made for it because the size of the frame and the size of the opening all were different. So I just ordered that from, I believe it was called Mat Boards Online. I will leave a link if I find that. <laughs> Should have kept better notes. Down in the description box, because that is the key with incorporating antique frames. You might need custom mats, you might need custom size prints, but buying prints and buying the mats like that is still so much cheaper than buying an antique oil painting. Especially if you can buy the frame right, you can get some really beautiful art for less than 30 bucks. Here in the kitchen, I did the Miss Mustard Seed blueberry painting, and then I also recently found this plate at an antique shop. It didn't have any others in the set, so it's kind of a one-off thing, and I thought it looked really pretty above this frame that I found at an antique shop with this print. The third idea on the list for farmhouse wall decor is practical things. The farmhouse style is all about utility, blending with beauty, and nothing embodies that more than hanging aprons on the wall, rolling pins, cutting boards, a summer hat on a coat hanger by the entryway, an umbrella in a crop, linen totes hanging by the back door. All of those practical things out on display, as long as they're beautiful as well, make the perfect farmhouse wall decor. The fourth item on the list is china. Plates, terrine lids, platters. I've utilized this all over our house, probably too much, but I just think it's so pretty. Something like this, I'm not gonna cook with or serve my family dinner on, but it's so pretty, it's like a painting. I also have a gallery wall behind me here in my kitchen dining room. It's incorporated with a wooden peg rack and I added plates around that. I have one in my entryway above some family photos and another antique mirror. I have one in the dining room. I love putting plates all over the place. The fifth one on the list is family photos. I love incorporating some family photos. I recently printed off a picture of Daniel in the wrap in a black and white, and I put it in an antique frame that I found. I also have some black and white family photos in the entryway, some of Micah when he was a baby. I love capturing those moments of motherhood and putting them on display. The sixth idea for farmhouse wall decor is dried flowers and herbs. I love to hang bundles of herbs in the summertime. Right now I have some lavender hanging in the kitchen. I also have made wreaths with dried flowers and dried herbs. My friend Sarah Jo over at Briarton Farm, she hangs these beautiful huge bundles of herbs in her kitchen. They look wonderful. I've also seen that over at Parisian Farm Girl. They have some great inspiration for hanging these natural bundles in their kitchens. All right, the last one I'll share is antique oil paintings. This is something I've been getting really into lately. I've been spotting them everywhere. I bought two and put them in our bedroom redo. It was a set of two floral oil paintings that I found on Marketplace for 25 bucks each. I also found a beautiful landscape oil painting for $25. I think it was $25, maybe 50, I can't remember. I probably said it before, so whatever I said then. I hung that at the top of the stairs. I hung the two florals at the sides of our bed and I just love the texture and they're so pretty and the colors. I will have my eye out for a lot more antique oil paintings, but only if they are for the right price because I've spotted them a lot of places. Some people want a whole lot for them, but you can also find them really inexpensively if you just keep your eye out and search constantly. I'm constantly looking at Marketplace, constantly looking at thrift shops and antique shops and keeping my eye open for all kinds of wall decor. Our house is a lot bigger than our last house. This house is 2,400 square feet. The last one was 1,600. The last one had a lot of built-ins and it was more open concept, so there weren't as many walls. This house just has so many walls everywhere. There's doors and walls. There's nothing about it that's open concept. And so I'm finding myself needing a lot of wall art and it's really livening this place up. So I'm having a ton of fun doing it and love taking you along with me. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've given you some inspiration for some great and inexpensive farmhouse wall decor ideas. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.